Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning create or a write a good defect or a bug report. Before moving further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future video related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So I have given 10 point guidelines to, to write the good defect or a bug report. So let us understand one by one what are those guidelines. The first guideline is for every defect or a bug you should write bug or defect title with a crisp and clear title. This is the first information developer will be watching. They will see the title of the defect and based on the title of the defect they should get the as much as information as possible. Hence you should write the title in very clear and crisp manner. For example let's see a so invalid error message display in a submit page on click of submit button. If somebody sees this title they clearly understand where the issue is. The second is when you are writing a defect report or a bug report see to that all the mandatory fields so all the mandatory fields such as device details if you are working for mobile testing then you should give the device details what is the operating system being used are you able to reproduce or not and you should fill all the important uh, mandatory fields with the relevant information do not fill not applicable or fill something. Fill the right information in those mandatory fields. That is the second guideline. The third is let's say you are testing something and you found the issue. When you found the issue then you will be logging a defect. You will be writing the defect report with the step by step instruction. This issue is reproducible only with the certain roles or certain users. Then in your defect you should write the credentials of that user or credentials of that role also needs to be included. So that is the third important tip or a guidelines to write a good test report. The fourth is you should clearly document what was the actual result you found out when you are executing the test cases. You should clearly document without missing any step. You are not going to make any assumption. Just follow step by step how you are able to reproduce the issue and you should take the, all the screenshots or attachments if required video results as well as part of the actual results. Then the fifth is expected results. You should also put it in a step to reproduce the expected results because as part of the test cases or as part of the recommend we are expecting this is the results. In actual result that is how the application is behaving. So the, these are the things we will be putting in the step to reproduce in a more detailed manner. You will be giving credentials, you will be giving uh, actual results and expected results as well and uh, you will be providing attachment details. Let's say if you found any issue then you should take a snapshot of that or a screenshot of that. If the flow is little complex then you will be making a video to tell the developer this is how I am able to reproduce by navigating the from this place to this place. So that is the attachment also you are going to attach as part of the defect, repo defect report mechanism. And there are certain instances you may need to log the files as well. You need to attach the log files where you will be attaching your mobile logs or you will be attaching your web server or app server logs or db logs. 
so based on the relevant information you will be attaching all the respective locks don't att attach something which is irrelevant attach only which are very relevant and that is going to add value to the development team so that they can fix the issues as early as possible and also when you are logging a defect you should also need to ensure you are going to select the right severity and priority of the defect and maybe your lead or somebody will review it but as a first step you will be inputting the right value then your leads or BA or PO they are going to review it again and they will put appropriate way but based on your knowledge or based on the idea which you worked in your project then you should select as when you are creating your defect in an appropriate manner in appropriate manner the ninth tip is or a guideline is when you are logging a defect you should also give which module or a function this issue is popping up and in which release name this issue is popping up because let's say if your current project you may be operating 10 releases as part of maintenance also then you should clearly document the issue has been found out in which release and you have to be very specific and also as a 10th important tip is you should clearly give the build detail as well exact build details which you are able to reproduce the issue these are the 10 important tips which you should follow to prepare a good defect report or a good bug report I hope you are able to get hold of all these 10 important tips when you are writing the defect report that would help the project team to resolve the issues in a quicker manner. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click on like button and if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.